Hey guys, it's JC's Reborn Journey here, and it is December 26th, and we still have presents under the Christmas tree. So, we're adults, we can handle it. You know, yesterday was pretty busy, plus I didn't really care. Like, I did, you know, Jackson's hair and this, that, and the other thing. But, I'm actually here right in a second, because I want to tell you, you know, Chris just made me breakfast, and me and him, we've been trying to work on it because you know how I have my eating disorder and I don't like eating food, right, Angel? Well, Chris is getting me to eat food, and look what he's gotten me to eat in this last week. So I never, and it's funny because Dennis loved eating his eggs like this. And, hold on, loved eating his eggs like this. See what the... And I would never eat it, but I never tried it like this. Now, it's a little weird when you're actually putting it in your mouth by itself. But when you dip it in something and eat it, it actually doesn't taste too bad. So, Chris made me breakfast. Thank you, Christopher. So, uh, yeah, so I just cleaned the kitchen, cleaned the bathroom. Now it's breakfast time, and we will see what, what's going on the next in, in the next few minutes. I don't know yet, but I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, guys, good morning. It is December 27th, okay? And I'm putting 26th and 27th together because I only had, what, one video? Plus my, um, my cleaning my bathroom. Ooh, how exciting. Well, here's the deal. What's going on is Chris is not happy about this. I mean, you know, if I hated this, um... If I hated this, a Chris, if I hated Christmas, like Chris hated Christmas, then I'd open up all the gifts really quickly so I could put the fucking Christmas tree away and be done with it. But no, he instead, he wants to drag it on for fucking three fucking days. So, he wouldn't open anything on fucking Christmas. No, he went, he, okay, so Christmas Day, I think, yeah, I did, he, he didn't open anything. I got him to open one gift on Christmas night, I think it was. And tried to hand him a gift all day. Wouldn't they take it? And uh, and then um, yesterday, I got him to do a few. Okay, and then it was getting too overwhelming for him. Whatever, dude. I'm not giving you gifts like this next year. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'm not going to do stuff for people that don't appreciate it. And I know he does because he did like what he gets. But at the same token, don't be a fucking dick about it. You know? <laughs> but Jaden is a very unique person. And we're just trying to let, you know, get people through what they need to get through at their pace. And what they need to get through with, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Jaden's got too, many, too much fucking patience for people sometimes. It's ridiculous. But he's starting to lose it. Um, but no, I mean, you know, sometimes you just have to do things in time. So, this morning, I'm letting him sleep in. <laughs> I'm out of the fucking house. It's 8.30 this morning. I've been up since 7.30. But like, yesterday, I was so tired. Like, I don't know. I think all, everybody's fucking nasty, negative energy fucking made me tired. Because I fucking went to sleep at like 5 and just kept taking cat naps all fucking night long. You know, mostly, you know, half on the couch and then half in the in the bed. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? I didn't know why I, I, I was just so tired. Like, people just wear me the fuck out sometimes. Please, people, just have a little bit of positive energy. So right now I'm going to just go get gas. And uh, I'm going to head over. So we're taking ourselves shopping after all this nasty energy that I'm dealing with from people. Stupid people. So... I'm going to um, get gas and hop on the highway, and we're going to go to Hobby Lobby today. We're also going to go to the Dollar Tree first and see if they have any more fabric and any other things that I can think of for the party. But, yeah, we're starting already on the, on the birthday party. But keep in mind, I'm also going to be starting to make different things now um, for the scrapbooking stuff. You know, because this is now my slow season. So, I mean, I'm going to focus on the Odd Jobs Unlimited, but now I'm going to start focusing on stuff. for Because I would love to be able to do... Um, craft fairs this year, so I need to have product in order for that. So, um, I'm gonna do a few things for um, Valentine's Day, nothing much, you know, maybe some heaty friends because it's the winter time. Um, so, I think I'll just do a few of those with some greeting cards. I think that's all I'll do there. Um, and then just try and sell them and stuff. But, anyways, let me go get gas and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I got the gas, I got $12 in gas, so I got me about to have a tank. All right. I didn't want to get too much gas because my sister just got me a gas card, but 
I have to find a gas station that the one that she got me. She gets me like the most expensive gas station car like Oh right, you just spent twenty five dollars and probably you need fifteen dollars in the gas. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> but um no, it's okay. But um I'm not complaining guys, I'm just laughing. So I had to put gas in the car because I don't have a fucking gas station that up of hers to get to. It's out of the way, so and I was on the almost E, so I figured I'd just get some just to pull me over for a little while. My hands are cold, people. My hands are freaking cold. And it's my nose disease. My finger. So, um, yeah, I decided to take myself on a... Um, I've been wanting to go shopping. And I won't go shopping, really shopping, when people... When it's just, you know, Christmas time. I do know that there will be a lot of people, but they're probably returning a lot of stuff now. But there's a, bet, a lot of stuff on sale, and I just want to go to Hobby Lobby and see what there is that I could find for some Christmas themes that I could get on clearance. And then I want to get some stuff for my party. And um, see what other kind of ideas I can come up with for the party. Um, I want to see about like what they have for letters and you know, stuff like that, see if I could come up with, like, something really cool, like, like, um, you know, that making something that says Jaden's 42nd birthday, so I, I have a banner idea of how I'm going to do that, um, I even have, a, you know, there's so many different little things that you can put on the wall to make it, you know, really nice and presentable that, you think outside the box. Like, for example, I have a towel that has an anchor on it. Why can't I use that? You know what I mean? Why? Why couldn't I use that for, you know, decoration? I don't know why I couldn't use that for decoration. I mean... What? <laughs> you just don't see why I couldn't do it. But I really liked how I did my, like, these letters and then put them, like, in, like, like kind of, like, went like this... And that was kind of cool, so... I, I don't know, I just I want to see what kind of letters there are, see what kind of things I can make. I don't know, I'm just so creative right now, and I just got to let my creativity, like... I, I guess I've been trapping my creativity for so long that I just got to let it out. Just let it, let, let it explore. Let it out. And dude, my, my, my fucking car is a mess. Jaden, clean up your car. It's like the only thing I have a hard time with is keeping my car clean. That's because I'd work. If I didn't work, then I wouldn't have that problem. But ever since Dennis died, I couldn't keep my car clean. It's like I gave up. But I was, like, so into keeping my car clean before he died. So, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go listen to the music and relax. And I'm going to head over to the dollar store first. And uh, maybe I'll see you there. Hey, guys. So, I am at the Dollar Tree now. So, basically what I'm trying to do is find more of that fabric. See what other kind of things I can find that's for the birthday party thing. And that's really it. So, um, I'm going to go in here. And so, right now I'm at the Framingham one, I guess. I don't know. Natick, Framingham, one of the two. But anyways, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'll show you what I got after. Hey, guys. So, I just got a few things. I'll show you what I got right now. Um, but don't take this the wrong way, people. But this is how I feel now. I'm not going to get too much into politics because I don't like talking about politics, but this is what I feel, all right? I'm a shopper. I'm also learning disabled. I'm also an American that speaks English, okay? And it seems like a lot of places want to hire people that don't speak English. I think that it should be against the law for a company to hire somebody who doesn't speak English. You have to, if you want to hire them, then you need to teach them how to speak English. Because I think that the criteria should be, in order to work in the United States, you have to be able to speak English. It ha whether it's your second language, I don't care. Whether you speak English, you know, a different language at your home. But when you are working with the public, the fucking public, speak fucking English, okay? Because when I go to Walmart, and this guy's trying to show me an app... Because he can't speak fucking English. We have a fucking problem, people. Seriously. I, I was like, I, I left. I'm like, everybody is going to lose my money, okay? And probably a lot of other people's money. Because at Dollar Tree, 
they don't hire Americans anymore. It's like they hire immigrants. So no one knows how to speak English, no matter what Dollar Tree I go to, you know? And it's sad because Americans don't want to work, so I understand that, but it's really frustrating for me, you know, customer service went to shit. Uh, you can't even get a person on the fucking phone today. When you go into a store, no one even knows how to give change outright. Um, when you're going into a store, they're going to have one price here, but then on the on the register, it's going to be a whole different price. A lot of companies are doing that now. So be very careful when you're spending your money. So right now, I just got a few things, I think, because I put a lot of stuff back because... I didn't want to spend, I mean, I wasn't going to break a hundred dollar bill here. Not when you don't know how to freaking speak English. <laughs> Fuck that. You ain't losing my money. So I just got these ropes and this. I'm not sure if I'm using this or not, but if I don't use it for this, I'll use it for something. So that's all I got. I, there was a couple other things and I was like, forget it. I'm going over to, you know, over there. So whatever. But that's enough for my ranting and raving. I get mad about this every time. And I'm telling you, as a professional shopper, okay? I will not stay at a store if I can't have proper customer service. If the bathrooms are not clean, I will not go there. If your store looks like trash, no. And if your product quality sucks, I won't go there. But if your if your customers want, I mean if if your employees one don't know how to speak English, I'm out of there. If your employees give me an attitude, I'm out of there. And you're going to lose my money. So I am not the only one that has values when it comes to being a professional shopper. So these are the things I'm looking for. The other thing I look for is, and this is not the, you know, their fault. But when I go shopping, I don't want to hear a bunch of fucking crying little fucking little brats. Why? Because you're treating them like brats today. All right. You give them whatever they want. They can't get spanked. They can't do this. You can't do that. Or you're going to get the cops called on you. What the fuck, man? We really need to bring it back to the fundamentals. That's why I actually miss or would have liked to be in, you know, the 1950s. Because that's where, the you know... Our values really were, and now our values have gone to shit. I have values, and everybody's values suck, okay? So, enough of my rainy rainy. Let's go shopping. <laughs> so, let me tell you something. I had a really nice time with my family the other day and for Christmas, and this was surprising for me because this doesn't... This never happens, okay? And I finally am trying to now open up to family and friends and really get them to understand how you can communicate with me better. Because what's happening is, is Chris... Chris, I have to read his body language, but Chris isn't using his words. So you're not communicating with me. You're half-assing things. You give me word games, and I can't get—I I don't understand what the fuck you're saying. You don't understand me. I don't understand you. So we have a lot of like, you know, my learning disabilities get in the way. And then with Angel, Angel, um, I find is more—we're having a lot of communication problems, but it's because we're both passionate at what we talk about. Um, but I have learning disability, so when you're telling me a paragraph, but you just said the first sentence, but I needed to just tell you something, it's like you got to talk, say one sentence at a time to me. That's basically how it works. You tell me a sentence, I tell you a sentence. You tell me a sentence, you know, like, like it's back and forth is really what helps me. The other thing is, is when you're saying the same thing over and over and over again, you've already lost me. Like, I, I stopped listening because I can't listen anymore when you're saying the same thing over again. Why? Because I am ADHD. I don't have the tension span. You're lucky I heard you the first time, if I even heard you the first time. So when someone says something over and over and over and over and over again, you know, and don't and don't get me wrong, I actually say things over and over again because I need to hear things over and over again. And that's not, I, I notice now when I say things over and over again, I'll actually stop because that annoys me. <laughs> so. But what happens is what your brain actually really just gets stuck on a record. That's really how it works because you're getting stuck on that thought and you just can't, like, you really have to. But I just find, like, you just can't talk to me in a paragraph. You actually have to talk to me in a sentence. Make sure I understood what you're saying. Another thing that I'm trying to tell people is that 
you know, like my fit for my example, my family, my dad. My dad gets, you know, gets anxiety with my 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 energy. But what I was explaining to him was, is that you're misreading my energy. You think I'm, in, you I, I have anxiety, and then I am stressed. But I have no anxiety. I don't feel any stress. I'm like, I'm excited, and I'm also very compassionate when I talk about something I'm I'm passionate about. So you're seeing my excitement and my enthusiasm, not anxiety. You know, so so a lot of and I did tell him I'm like a lot of people don't under like a lot of people actually can't handle me in large doses. I can handle myself in large doses though. I'm a one of a kind. You know, and the thing is, is you think I always have this energy? No, I didn't always have this energy. And I don't have this energy to stay behind somebody who's fucking slow either. Even though you're not really that slow, but you're slower than for me. I don't know. I want to go 60, not 50. <laughs> Even though it's probably 50 here, but whatever. Uh, yeah, and I'm actually... Oh, oh, here we go. Ready? Police. 45. <laughs> Sucker. I, I can see you. See, that's the problem. <laughs> I can see you. I can stop. I can slow down. Yeah, it's probably like 40 here. Probably 30 for all I know. Because right now I'm at where the Natick Mall is. And I'm going right to a couple of... I, Couple of things down. Actually, I'm right near fucking Walmart. I need to go to fucking Walmart too. So if I don't spend all my money at there, I'll go over to Walmart. I don't know. Walmart for me is kind of overwhelming. I don't like Walmart. Too many people. Too many freaking people. But if I stay out of the, uh, it maybe it won't be too bad if I stay out of the uh, Hobby Lobby. I see it. <laughs> Um, so actually, I gotta tell you something. My mom actually hates Hobby Lobby. And, well, one, she's not artistic. But for me, when I am a shopper, okay, I am a shopper and I keep politics aside, okay? Because Hobby Lobby is against gay, lesbian, transgender youth. And you know what? I don't care what your religion is. I don't care what your beliefs are. I'm not going to hold you to that. My mom does. She's a mommy, you know, and she's a mom to a trans man. So I understand her, her thing. But the thing is, is I can't, I'm not going to not shop at a store because of their beliefs. That's their beliefs. I, I'm respecting their beliefs. I can choose whether or not to shop there or not shop there. And I don't shop there very often. So, but they also have a good uh, variety of arts and crafts stuff and at better prices and it's just a better store than Michael's altogether so why not like fuck politics leave politics aside people sometimes you know just enjoy life if I worried about every little fucking thing I just stay the fuck home right you know I just die just wait to die just go wait to die now nah. I'm not up for that. Oh, look at this. Not a lot of people. I like it. I'm going to go shopping. <laughs> oh, and I'm right where you can, like, shop in all kinds of places. But, dude, I wish I had, like, a good amount of money. <laughs> I wish I had, like, a grand to just, like, like, blow one day. Maybe I'll do that. I'll save up money so I can, like, just go on a shopping spree. That'd be fun. I don't know. See, JC likes that. I don't know how much Jaden would like that. Because trust me, I've tried to get Jaden to go shopping. And he's just like, no, I don't want to buy that. No, he always tells me fucking no. So fuck you. I'm not taking you shopping, Jaden. <laughs> he wanted to go shopping today. Watch, he won't let me buy everything. Buy everything I want. He's, he already told me no <laughs> at the dollar store. <laughs> Dude, there's a Jordan's right across the street. I can go to the thing. They have a... Oh, I loved... You know, when I was younger, I'd go to Jordan's Furniture with my friends, and we would just, like, check out all the... Like, we'd just walk around, and we'd check out all the furniture, and we'd, like, play on the furniture and shit. <laughs> and, it, and the other thing I used to do, because I loved architecture, and if you didn't have any money, you just we'd just drive around and look at the different houses. I want to do that with Chris, man. I, I've seen some houses that, oh, my God, my I, I was getting my rocks off on those houses. And I and, and it was both times that Chris was in the car, and I was like, oh, man, I want to show Chris these houses, so... I, I know one's on Dover Road or something. I think it was. But I didn't know what town I was in. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to know when you don't know what town you're in. And I don't know what time Chris went to bed. So I like snuck out of the house today. I probably woke him up. But I went through the back door instead of the front door. And 
I wanted to like wake up before. I mean, I wanted to get up and get out of the house before he did because he just like talks and talks. Not really too much in the morning, but yeah, he'll talk. Like if I start talking to him, he'll talk. But then he won't let me out of the house. So I was just like, fuck this. I'm getting out of the house before he wakes up. <laughs> Plus I think I keep him up half the night. And I slept on the couch and I think I slept on his couch. I was sleeping on the couch where he sleeps. So, <laughs> but that's why my couch is a very nice, comfortable recliner, too. So, I don't want to hear any bullshit that you didn't get a good night's sleep. But what I did, though, when I woke up in the middle of the night, though, I did wake him up. And I'm like, dude, push over so you can um, not be fucking, like, like a, you won't feel like a pretzel in the morning. I'm like, I'm up. So, go ahead. Turn over. So, he did. Because <laughs> I, I did that once before, and then he ended up like a pretzel, and I didn't tell him. And I didn't wake him up to tell him. So, he woke up, and he's like, oh, I'm so sore. And I just didn't want to hear it the next day. So, I'm like, fuck it. Wake up. <laughs> So, but anyways, I'm going into Hobby Lobby. Let's see what we can go find, guys, right? All right, let's go. All right, guys, Hobby Lobby. Let's go. Let's see what there is. Now, guys, this is the way I like it. I like it when no one's in my fucking way. Honestly. You know, I've never actually looked at furniture here, but I just spotted something that I liked. You guys will get to know me a little better. better. You shop with me. But I love this thing. I don't know what I put in these things, but oh, I know arts and craft shit, of course. It is so cute. I like it. But I would take a picture of this, and then Chris and I we make something like this ourselves. Cause look at it. This this is like made pretty bad. Like when you see this, I could have made that better. You know what I'm saying? This should have filled been filled in. These should have been filled in, so this would have been a complete. It would have looked like a complete straight line, and then you paint it. They didn't do that. And then when I'm opening these up, you can feel these aren't really made very well. But And look, the furniture is 30% off. So, and then, I don't know what this is. This is kind of cute. I don't know. I like furniture, but furniture does take up space, guys. It does. It takes up a lot of space. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> All right, I was just asking them where the fabric is because we're going to start with the fabric. Hey, Angel. Good morning. How are you? So all my religious folks out there, have a look. Isn't that cute? Oh, that's cool. You know which one I actually really liked? I just came across it because I really believe in this. I believe in family. I do. I believe in family. I believe in love and peace. Amazing Grace. <laughs> I see it right there. All right. You're welcome, Angel. I show you these. Okay. I know you have. You she's got a Hobby Lobby right down the street from her. All right. Let's see. I wasn't looking for those kind of lighters. Oh. She's like the whole store is on sale. I'm like, oh my god, I'm in heaven. So J J this is Jaden's heaven, guys. Just so you know. If it's not the Reborn Babies, it's scrapbooking. And if it's not scrapbooking stuff or this kind of stuff, then it's... <laughs> now it's... Um, tools, too. <laughs> so, if you guys notice, this stuff is um, the baby's um, fabric. They have that fabric stuff to make. <gasps> Ooh, look at this. Get owls on it. But... All right, so what are we looking for, guys? I am looking for either anchor fabric, okay, so help me keep a lookout, or Christmas apparel. So let's see what we can find. Sometimes they have like on sale areas, but I don't know. I have to just keep a lookout. This just does not look like. Let me back this up so you guys can see a better picture like I do. And then, oh, I forgot. And then I'm also looking for, um, I'm also looking for like a gray fabric for the party. So my, my colors for my party are, tr I'm trying to do, oh, I should do Spider-Man, but I, no, I'm already doing anchors. <laughs> but that's a nice Spider-Man. <laughs> um, I need gray. Not a plain gray. Not a girly, stupid gray like that. Yep. Oh, did you guys find something? Oh, yep, you did. 
Now, I have this one, and I'm not really loving, not really loving this. I really want to go to the next level. And keep in mind, I don't have to buy fabric here for it either. Because I actually like the fabric that we had over at the dollar store, believe it or not, better. Now, this is kind of cute, but... Mm -mm. I mean, I can see that, but I'm really trying with gray. Now, keep in mind, I could do, like, a gray fabric, you know? Like, I could do a gray fabric, not this one, but, like, a gray fabric, and then put an anchor on it, you know? So the fabric doesn't necessarily have to be an anchor. I can add an anchor to it. So... So, you see what I mean? Like, you have these. This is like a gray. Not this, not this. Maybe like a this. Not quite sure. Mm. All right, so I'm going to look around for the cut for my fabrics. I will take you off of here, and then I'll show you the fabrics I decided to pick out. How's that? All right? Oh, look at this. It's so cute. I love the baby stuff. Mm. Babies. Babies. <laughs> It'd be cute to make, like, oh, you know what? I could make, make some, something like this. One of the baby ones. But I'd rather use, like, a, a baby, not a baby thing, but, like, maybe a, a kid's, you know. But this would be cute to make a, um, a sleep sack. I mean, uh, not a sleep sack. A, um, you know, a Christmas stocking sack. I make stocking sack. So. All right. I'm going to take a look and see what I can find. I'll show you in a minute. All right, guys, so what I'm actually going to be doing is before I go and continue looking for the anchor stuff, I mean, the um, the fabrics, okay? They don't have any Christmas fabric. I'm fine with that. I could care less, all right, anymore. I can buy that stuff anytime. It doesn't have to be on sale. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for um, anchor stuff, like different things to give me ideas before I buy fabric. You see what I'm trying to get at? So I don't know what I'm going to be able to find here just have to like look around I guess I don't know where would the anchor stuff be mm. so like here these were like the letters and numbers and stuff that I'm talking about so like I haven't decided I got those other numbers but I haven't decided if I wanted to number the um, things but see here's the alphabet but I wanted to do it in big letters unfinished wood Priced it's five, and then there's forty percent up. I think. So these are one ninety nine, which is fine. And then if you got the A, the J, and these are different letters, so it's hard to do this when they don't have all the letters you're looking for. Because like right up here, there's no A. Let's see what we got here to work with. So what I wanted to do is kind of like have it, see how these are going like this. But I can have fun, some that are flat, and then I can have some that are stickers, actually. Because I'm going to be putting some, um, I'm going to get some stuff that I'm going to add, you know, Jaden's 42nd birthday. Or welcome to Jaden's 47th birthday. Stuff like that, so... And then you have them in colors. And then you have these kinds of things. I wonder if they have these in like an anchor. I doubt it because I can never find... Oh, I just found it. Dude, look. I found one anchor. <laughs> I found one anchor. How much is it? <clears throat> 99 cents. So this is what I'm trying to talk about. I want to look for different things because I can accent this too. You know, when accent... If for those that don't know what that means, that means that you can make this look even better than what it looks like now. But this can even go on to something, or maybe I could stand it up onto something. So I haven't quite decided, but let me see what kind of anchor stuff I can find. So I'll get back to you in a little bit. Hey guys, so I'm looking around and I found a few things that I liked, which is this right there. Perfect. It's a stencil. And then I got this. I'm getting this. And um, I was just looking at these things right here. I was just putting this together, but I wouldn't use these particular ones, but um, it's kind of cute, isn't it? Um, I'm looking more for, because I was actually thinking about possibly getting a stencil 
for the letters. And then that way I would be able to paint the letters onto whatever I'm trying to do it on. You know, so I'm thinking about getting some kind of um, anchor thing. It could be whether it's a, um, whether it's for technically a shower curtain or a curtain or a piece of fabric. I don't even care. It could be a sheet for all I care. And then we're just going to paint um, it. W- it would say, you know, welcome to Jaden's, you know, or just Jaden's 42nd. Uh, birthday party or something like that or Jaden's 42nd birthday and that's it so I I because the, now these ones right here are $12 I don't have to buy them now either so I know where they are and then you can go with any sizes so I'm not buying them today only because I know this is not what I'm gonna you know I have time to work with that now look at this <gasps> ooh ooh painting markers that's what I need for that thing I need white I need blues, and I need silver, or gray. I need gray, but they always come in uh, silver. I want a gray one, though. So, I have to find a gray if they have it in gray. Because, see, look. Oh, ooh, I found a gray one right there. Gray, gray, gray. So, yeah. Hey, look at that. So, I'm going to do gray and white, and then um, it's going to be blues. I think gray, white, blues will go together, don't you think? So... When I do this for the party, if I'm going to do balloons, hypothetically, they'll be white, blues, and gray. You know what I mean? White, blue, and gray. Because I just found a, a anchor one that is a gray. It's a white fabric with the blue print. So that would be something that could, you know, utilize that or something. I don't know. So, and now with a stencil, I can even put these on to them. So... All right, so I'm going to continue. I am going to go get these markers because they're only $2 a piece. That's perfect. There's even this one, too. I think that one, that one's a glass paint marker. <gasps> Ooh. It might work for that. I'm not sure. I have paint for glass, though, but I need to get it. I would have to get, like, an anchor that would go onto glass. You know what I'm saying? So, like, these ones, I think, are the glass ones. Adhesive sheets. These are adhesive sheets. I remember these being, like, the glass ones that I used. Oh, look at that. It says happy birthday. I know. I have to see what I have at home first. But, yeah, so. All right. I'm going to keep going. I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Hey, guys. Hold on. I got to bring this back. There we go. So you can kind of see. I'm actually just walking into the aisles, so I figured I'd walk with you. Actually, let me go this way, because I've already been in this aisle, and they'll show me at the end, so. I've already been in this aisle, plus I don't need paper. And then this one is really, like, for your your stickers. I don't really do stickers that much, but actually, these are cute. I like those. They're $5. Because when you think about it, I should be doing some happy birthday stuff. Not just anchors. It should have happy birthdays on it. It should have balloons. But I have some of this stuff at home. Plus, I want to make some of this stuff. Like, see, some of this stuff I can make by hand. So, like, I could take a picture of that and basically make that from scratch. Because I have a machine cutter. And then I can just, you know. So, some of these things I have to actually take pictures of. And then other things I make. And I never, um, I will never copy something. I will always make it better. So I needed more accent to it anyways. But I just thought I'd just show you real quickly. Like, it'd be nice to have some of these, like the papers that have anchors. But I doubt I'd find something like that. You know what I'm saying? But So, for me, anchors to me make me feel, uh, it, it's, I feel grounded. I'm anchored down now. I feel alive. <laughs> That's a normal. It's a different feeling for me is to feel alive. Dude, I feel alive. For the first time in my life, I finally feel alive. It just took me five years transitioning to finally feel alive, but it just started in the last month or so. And then here are the um, stamps for those that love stamps. I love stamps. <gasps> Look at the owl. I like these kind. I do have a lot of these. These I use as like backgrounds. So I have like that one. I have something like that. 
I think I have that or something like that. And here they're not that bad in price. This one I think, I ain't gonna tell you, but that one right there is $12.49, that's not bad for that, you know? So I'm just trying to look around and see what else I can find for anchors. But I thought I'd show you this, see? Like you got this right there. See, for me it's just, I mean, yes, I can do it, but it takes longer to accent these kinds of things when you're trying to do it for a party, but this is why you do it five months in advance. It's crazy, but it works. Cause look what I found. <gasps> Jane's buying it. <laughs> Wish they had a bigger one. <laughs> Jane's fucking crazy about anchors. So yeah, anchors means you're grounded. That's how I look at it. Someone says to me, you're not grounded. But you know what the problem is? I think that person wasn't grounded and that's why they said I wasn't grounded. People that aren't grounded themselves are gonna say that. So I ain't worried about it. I don't let other people bother me. I don't let other people's comments bother me. So, but anyways, I gotta go. I need both hands. But uh, yeah, and I'll show you guys what I end up getting at the very end, okay? All right. See you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so um, I'm actually in this department now. Um, I found some rope, which I will come back to at a later date if I need to. But I know there's some rope right now. I'm buying them at the dollar store, so I'd rather just do that first and see what I could come up with before buying a bunch of other rope. But at least I know how, you know, where to go. Also, I'm also going to go over to um, Joanne's Fabrics after this um, so you can meet me over there. Um, right now I'm looking over here. I haven't found anything. I did see, like, an anchor here, but I'm looking for them to be bigger than that. I'd love to be able to find, like... I did do some research, and I found some things I need to buy online now, so... And I'm going to keep doing some research. So this is really exciting in this way. You guys can see how much of a process this really is because let me tell you something. When I make stuff from scratch uh, for people for Christmas or the holidays, the year, the, the following year, I actually start now for the following year because it takes that long to do. So people might think I'm crazy that I'm starting now, but believe it or not, I am not going to start a project that I need to do everything by hand starting in you know April so and it's gonna take me a while so now I can start focusing I always like to have a goal to focus on so this is a goal that I'm focusing on now until the next goal so I want to save up money this year so I'm really gonna I think in my mind the idea that I have originally isn't gonna work but I think I still have a good idea so for people that want to come from out of town we still have and for people that may not be able to show up on that Saturday they'll still be able to have something so there is a hotel close to me if people want to like you know do that and then um, I was thinking Friday night you know maybe having like a dinner out to eat with a bunch of friends and family whoever wants to join so that'd be like a small on a smaller scale and everybody would pay for themselves and then saturday everything's taken care of and then um sunday i was thinking having like a brunch somewhere close to home uh close to the hotel where everybody would be staying at so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do it at the hotel or not do it at a hotel but at least people would be you know at a hotel and we'd be able to do things for three days we're gonna you know celebrate for three days I just can't afford to do everything all myself so this way um, I was thinking about doing some prizes and doing some you know stuff so I haven't decided quite yet almost like maybe possibly like a uh, a bingo but a virgin of like a Jaden bingo kind of thing so we would have like um, instead of being numbers each thing would have a saying or it would say something and then we would have to, you know, take that out and be like, okay, you know, reborn babies, you know, and then you put, you put a little dot on the reborn baby and then whoever gets it, the bingo would win, you know? So this way people get to learn about me as well. I think that's a cute, clever idea, you know? And then I would make the cards from scratch and, um, I would make them all by hand and all custom and everything would have to do with things that I would like or do, you know, I could say Justin Bieber, I could say music, 
It could say Rascal Flats. It could say, you know, favorite numbers. It could say anything. So it's really for people to get to know me better as a person, for me to get to know me, you know? So, but anyways, I just thought that that would be really fun. So we're also going to do a Jaden Bingo. The other one is going to be a box of word, words of wisdom. And then there's one other thing I just figured out and I forgot. I think we're going to do an actual raffle as well. And then um, there was one other game I wanted to do. Oh, how well do you know Jaden? And those would be, and that will come with a prize as well. So we're going to do a lot of interactive things. I find that when you do interactive things, it keeps people's attention. Um, you know, there'll be times we're going to have like, you know, social hour, then we're going to have dinner, then we're going to have, you know, um, you know, maybe after dinner, we have a little bit more of a social, half an hour to socialize and, and every, allow everybody to finish eating. And then after that, you know, then it's kind of like we'll go into like the dances and all that stuff. And then, you know, we'll stop with the, you know, we'll stop. and move. So I haven't decided, I think, you know, if it's cheap to do it at a, a VFW, I would rather give my money to a VFW versus a hotel. You see what I'm trying to get at? So um, I would like to look around and see what there is to offer. Uh, but anyways, I am just looking around. See, I'm finding some cute little things here. I don't know if you guys picked up on it, but I found like, I see these and this and that and this, like compasses. I think that's a cute, uh, like I'm finding my way. That's a cute little idea. Actually, I think I might get those. These are cute. Not everything has to be anchors. It just has to be the theme. So you, these aren't the theme, but this Dennis would have loved. So I'm kind of getting those for Dennis, and nobody has to know about that except us. So I'm really just looking around. You'd be surprised what you can find in these areas. I I don't know exactly what this is for. I think this is to make necklaces and stuff, but I use things outside the box. So I will use things that are even for jewelry and it doesn't matter. I'm going to make something with it. Cause look, I see Dennis right there. See, there's Dennis. Hi Dennis. I saw something else. It was, I think a lot of this stuff is Dennis like this. A lot of these, he liked he liked a lot of these type of, he likes cowboy stuff, it's some guns or that, you know, like, uh, you know, for me, guys, when I focus on other people, it makes it easier, I guess, for me to deal with reality, I guess, sometimes, but I feel good helping others, and it makes me feel like I have a purpose, I guess, maybe. Maybe that's what it is. I need to have a purpose in life. And my purpose is to show people that life isn't that bad, I guess. With everything I've been through, people, I'm telling you, if I can do it, I guess anybody else can. Because I'll tell you, I've been through hell and back and back and back and forth quite a few times <laughs> for 40 years until I finally figured out that it's okay. So, but anyways, I am moving along here and we're going to go get some fabric. We're not going to go too crazy though here now because we're going to go over to um, Joanne's Fabrics, which is on the way back. All right, guys. See you in a few minutes. All right, ladies, I'm leaving. But before I leave, I wanted to show you this. Look at the owls. I wanted to show you these things because I know I have a feeling you guys would really like these. So I wanted to show it to you. Why do I always show you things I like when I could show you what you might like? Isn't that the whole reason for YouTube? <laughs> Is to watch what you like, not what I like? <laughs> oh, look at these little owls. Oh, Angel. So I was trying to explain to Chris, because everybody looks at me and, you know, when I buy stuff for them, they're like, wow, I can't believe you bought it. something I, I would like, I would wear and everything. I said, dude, I go, when I look at stuff, I see people's names on it. So it calls out for people's names. I, I don't have a say in it. It just says, oh, that's for Angel. Oh, that's for Chris. Oh, that's for my mother. Oh, that's for this. Like, for example, this, Angel, right? Um... Adventure funds me. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's go catch out, and we're gonna go over to Ocean, um, to um, Joanne's Fabrics, all right? Hey guys, so now I'm at a. It's a small one, but whatever. I don't care. I like Joanne's Fabrics. They usually have a good selection of fabric, 
they did, but they didn't. You know what I'm saying? So I want to try over here. So when it comes to fabric and, and design, I think they buy better like designs versus other companies. And it's too bad that Michaels doesn't have any fabric because they're just stupid. But we're going to go in here and take a look, all right? And this is what I'm talking about when it comes to fabric. They just have a better selection no matter how small their store is. They have more here than they did over there. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Look at this. Look, fabric's down there. More fabric up here. Jeez, I've actually never looked at the fabric here, so this is going to be interesting. I don't know what they did with their, uh, <laughs> with their Christmas stuff, but <laughs> it'd be nice to take a look and see what their Christmas stuff is. But right now, let's just take a look at, I'm going to look at gray. I'm going to look at anchor fabric and have a look and see what we can come up with, all right? All right, let's have a look, guys. Ooh, what are we gonna find? Some goodies. Right. Hey guys, so um, now it's really trying to plan what to do for the entire day because I'm done in here. I was gonna show you a little bit more, but this is kind of a small store. So, um, and I forgot about the North Attaburg store, so oh my God, that's what I wanna do. So, I'll save up a little bit of money and then I will take myself shopping at Joanne Fabrics over there. Now the thing is, I'll be honest with you, like it's really hard to find like anchor stuff and I'm gonna have to get creative. Possibly even make an anchor out of nothing. So um, now, you know, at this time of year, my, my business kind of changes a little bit. So now this is the best time now to start focusing on the scrapbook end of my business and my creative end of my business and to bring it and incorporate these into, bo into both businesses. So basically being able to, you know, go to a craft fair every once in a while and have stuff. So right now what I'm trying to do is when I have my downtime, when I'm watching TV, no more fucking sitting there, you know, dicking around. Now it's time to, you know, sit there, you know, you're watching TV or whatever. Now let's sew. Um, my fingers obviously freaking hurt, but whatever. So I'm going to sew by hand. I'm going to make stuff. I want to buy in bulk stuff. I mean, like, you know, like the rice. I'm going to make um, my Heaty friends again. I'm going to really try to sell them now. And then the greeting cards. So greeting cards are just like one end of things that I do. But I like to do all kinds of like artsy crafty stuff. Now the one thing I didn't look in there for were the cakes um, for the centerpieces. But the thing is, is I like the box idea better because it's it's cheaper for me. It's I save a lot more money that way. So I really can't wait for this party and for people to see my creativity. And obviously I have help with other people that are going to help me with the creativity as well, like Christopher. But for the most part, a lot of it's going to be myself and Chris. It's basically going to be me and Chris's ideas, but 90% of it's my ideas, okay? <laughs> so, I'm in a light. So now, I have to try to change my direction now. I have to figure out now what I need to be doing. So, I mean for today, I'd like to go over to storage and pick up my the rest of my fabric, but at the same token, Chris is still refusing to open up all the gifts. So I told him today, I said, dude, I'm like, you don't even have to take the tree down. I'm like, the sooner you fucking open up your presents, the sooner that tree can go away and get out of the house. I'm waiting on you, dude. I mean, what am I gonna be taking those balls off before I fucking hand in the rest of his presents? So, I mean, you have to just do it at his pace, but I'm telling you this, this is not happening next year. Fucking will not happen next year. If you're gonna be miserable, stay the fuck away from me. <laughs> Everybody, you are not ruining my holidays anymore. My holiday really wasn't ruined, but I don't really have any surprises. And I have to actually tell you this, too, guys, all right? I'm not mad at Chris whatsoever. Um, I, you know, I think by me just focusing on other people make it easier for me to get through my holiday, honestly, to be honest with you. Um, plus, it feels good to be helping other people. Um, but Chris has already told me that he's getting, he's going to help me pay for a TV for the for the living room so I could put the t other TV in the bedroom so um, 
we are basically going to be splitting it. So instead of me having to come up with all the money for a Hanukkah present, a Hanukkah or a Christmas present for myself, he's actually pitching in to pay for half. So that's what he said. So he's like, you get to pick out the TV and I'll pay half. So I'm waiting for him. <laughs> so basically now I'm waiting for him to be done, you know, doing the gifts so we can put everything away, wash everything that we need to wash. Like, I can't even do laundry until all the fucking gifts are done because some of the stuff needs to be washed. Yes, I bought some stuff at Savers. It's, yeah, I, Savers saves you money, <laughs> right? So, yeah, like, hello. And then once that tree is put away, then we can go buy and look for a fucking TV. Can't until he's fucking done. But I ain't rushing him. There's a lot of stuff I need to still be doing. I want to go through the storage unit. I need to make it better. I need to take some stuff out of there. Put it in, in my house. Got to go through some of the stuff in my house. Blah, 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 blah. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, I need to downsize that uh, um, storage unit or just figure out what's going on with it. I don't need all those bags. I don't, you know what I'm saying? So, just way too much stuff. And now it's just trying to downsize it. That's all. And, um, I need to actually go over to, uh, Oil Man. That's a guy who I used to work for. I have a feeling he could use some carpet, new carpet, and I'm trying to get rid of this carpet, and the only way I can get rid of this carpet is if I can convince somebody to take the carpet off my hands and have me do the job so I can make the money. Because I'm not, I'm not doing it for, for nothing. Um, I'm not taking, you know, I'm not gonna do the job for nothing, and I'm not gonna, you know, give the product away for nothing, but I can get the job done, you know? So, I know I have Chris to help me to do it, so I know it will get done. And I'm not going to get screwed on the job either. Chris and I work together as a team. Everybody else is out for themselves. I want as much money as you're going to give me, so I don't work that way. Not anymore, I don't. You know, if you don't like how much I'm going to hand you, then find another job. I don't need you that badly. I'll find somebody else to work for you. There's enough people in this world that will work, so... You know, you guys are a dumb and doesn't. <laughs> People don't realize that. They're like, oh my God, I'm like, you know, you can't get rid of me. I'm so good to you. And I was like, no, you're not. You fucking suck. Yeah. Like, but I'm uh, getting Chris a coffee and I haven't decided what else I'm going to get. I haven't decided if I'm getting donuts tonight or, but we just need something different. Like, Everything's fucking different. He said surprise him, so I haven't decided what to do yet. I don't really want to spend money, so. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of things got to happen. I would like to start, like, so now what I'm trying to do is refocus my energy on what I need to do for the, what, what am I, how am I going to be productive for the rest of today? Because I want it to be a good production. And I don't want to go overboard. And then not get other things that need to be done. Because the first thing that really needs to get done. Are those fucking presents and the tree. <laughs> like the balls could come off. Everything could come off. Everything could get put away. After the tree. You know after the thing is done. And then you know tomorrow I could go pick up the box. Chris can put the tree in the box. Blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying. Like let it be over now. You know, it's, it's enough is enough. I need the rum. We're walking around the freaking tree. And the thing is, I do actually like getting rid of this before New Year's only because if you're bringing it to the next year, you're kind of bringing Christmas to the next year. And I want this year to be this year and next year to be next year. So I always try and I've, I actually I've taken the last three months to get ready for next year. And you have to do that sometimes, you know, it's nothing bad with that. You know, I, I've been uh, doing a lot of soul searching in my brain. Um, I have been in pain, so I've been seeing pain doctors, you know, I've been, or, or doctors to try and figure out what the pain is going on. I probably need a massage again, so I need to find somebody new. And, um, I, um, I need to go back into physical therapy, but I've been waiting for the call so we can go do these other things so then I could go and, and I, I just don't know what's going on. So I might have to touch base with the doctor's office if I don't hear back from, if I don't hear from them by tomorrow, by the end of this week, maybe I'll give them a call by Friday. Um, but yeah, that's the hip doctor. I'm supposed to get a cortisone shot in the hip. Um, and I 
need to be seeing a specialist that's going to be north of Boston for pain management. They need to be calling me. So I have a bunch of people that need to be calling me. Maybe I shouldn't have my <laughs> my my phone's been on. But on uh, oh, that's a. Uh, I wonder what kind of build, what kind of doctors they have there. And it puts out man, we're in Wellesley. Uh, cause just because it's another doctor's office that I just noticed that I could go to because I'm a part of them. So anyways, now I'm just trying to get a game plan of what I need to do for the entire day because Jaden a lot of times puts way too much in in his day. Now yesterday, like I said, I really think that people have just drained me. Between that and me just waking up early every morning, not sleeping well, and literally go, 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 go. I'm always being productive, whether it's sewing something or I'm on the bathroom. I mean, dude, I went to the, I went and did a dump the other day and I was working on the toilet. Like, uh, I got to bring this, keep working on this, and I got to go to the bathroom, but I don't have time. So I am just going to do this on the toilet and then I just did it <laughs> on the toilet. Like, you used to be productive. Use all your see the bathroom I use for work so if I'm not if I'm not texting somebody so I use it for texting time or I'll use it for looking for work or I do my my um my god people come on get the fuck going you're going on a highway asshole come on my car can't fucking do this anymore you guys really need to learn how to fucking pick it up see this is how you do it you when you go on a highway, get the fuck out of your way! <laughs> Come on! Get out of my way, get out of your way! You gotta look, you gotta, you know, see that little pedal on the right hand side? That's called the gas pedal. The gas pedal, you gotta step on that thing. You know, you really gotta, like, feel it. Feel it! Step on it! It won't hurt you, you won't bite. Yeah, I promise. Like, everybody's so afraid of being in an accident or something. I don't know what the fucking problem is, but too much anxiety on the roads today, people. You gotta stop that. I could do a pod, maybe. Like, when I go to another place, I'm, I'm, I'm the reason why I, I said that, see, things just randomly come out of me because I'm seeing something on the road. So, this guy is on a truck, see, pods, you see it? So, everybody, like, always wonders why. So, basically, Jaden, okay, this is Jaden for you. Jaden has conversations in his head. So, while I'm having a conversation with you, I'm actually having a conversation with me. And every once in a while, like, out of the blue... A word or two or a sentence comes up. Um, I'm saying it out loud even though I'm still having a conversation with myself. So people are like, what? Where did that come from? I'm like, I'm sorry. I was having a conversation with myself. And, you know, because I was just like, like things that J Jaden says things out of left field. Like you're in the middle of having a conversation with me. And I'm just like, oh, man, I really have to try those. Yeah. That, that I'm really gonna have to try. And you're like, huh? You're like, what? What do you mean you have to try? What are you talking about? I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I was having a conversation with myself. I just thought of these things and, you know, or, um, or like, for example, like, I was watching a commercial or something and I happened to talk about boobies, okay? And it was about black people. Now, don't get me wrong. And I was just making a nice little comment about how they have nice boobs, right? But that I've never seen them in person. But it was a commercial. And if you're not looking up at the commercial and seeing it and you're just hearing Jaden say, um, you know, wow, uh, black people really have good boobs and have good looking boobs and you know and, and, you know but you didn't look up at what I was looking at and I just started having a conversation out of the blue and I don't start conversations like in order mine are really out of order so like I might be in the middle of the paragraph and then I will tell you the beginning of the story after <laughs> so it's really funny Angel tell me if that's what I do because I really think that's what I did a lot of the times I do that um so many people are just like, wow, like, what the fuck? So, I have a hard time. I really need to start paying attention to when people are talking. And I really do. And I try so hard. And I, no matter what, I still can't hear all the words you say. I'm sorry. I don't know why. It's my learning disabilities. <laughs> um, 
I don't know. Like, I even think it's even hard for me to talk about things I enjoy and, and I'm passionate about. But you'll, 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 you'll find that compassionate. But I can only keep that a compassion for a very short time. Like, I, I got to move on. We got to go to another another conversation. Let's keep going. Like, like Jaden talks manic, okay? I talk manic. So, we're talking our ADHD. So, I will actually have five conversations with you in one conversation. One conversation. <laughs> I mean, even weather might get involved. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I mean, geez, the things that I say, just it's just hilarious. I don't know. Maybe you guys have noticed that I, the way I talk because I just keep blurting things out. But, um, and you know, the thing is, is my creativity or my thoughts, like, I think the most in the car. So, you know, if you, if I was on camera the, the whole entire time, trust me, you'd see, you'd see all kinds of stuff funny. <laughs> and I crack myself up too. But I'm, uh, I gotta figure out what I gotta do now. So, I would be back with you in a little bit once that's figured out. All right. Holy shit, guys! All right, so right now I I, I have I have an because it's right down the street from where I live. It's a um, a VFW, and I'm really trying to get to know prices and stuff, right? About like you know I need to know what the hell I'm doing and what I'm working with and how I can get something for really cheap. And they want freaking nine hundred dollars. I'm like, what the hell? Like, nine hundred dollars for a Saturday. Uh, Friday and a Sunday would be seven fifty. Okay, so I don't quite know how we're going to be able to play this out because why would I want that hall when I can have it right at my place? But I can't have too many people at my place, and I wanted a lot of people here, so I don't know how this is going to work yet. But not everybody could show up. So, you know what I mean? Probably on a Saturday. So I wanted to have it a weekend. So basically, a Friday night, I'd be picking like my favorite restaurant. You know, like a restaurant that everybody can come to and meet and be able to see me on my birthday. But everybody will know up front that when you're buying, you know, when you're ordering, you're paying for your own meal. Like, we're making it very clear. You're paying for your own meal. Why would I buy? Why would I pay for your meal? Your meals are going to get paid for on Saturday. Then Sunday, I wanted to have a, um, like a Sunday brunch with a hangout maybe like hang out for a little while before everybody goes for the for our last little meetups go ahead on go ahead I don't trust you go get the fuck out of my way <laughs> the hell out of my way I don't trust you uh, she, I don't trust her trust me I, I could read body language and trust me you wouldn't have trusted her body language either <laughs> I trust I was looking at her body language I was looking at her car language and I was saying don't go don't go things I can just read but yeah, I mean, fuck. <laughs> this is expensive. I don't know, grand to just waste like that? Shit, I'll take myself on vacation first before I make everybody else happy. I'm done making other people happy. I'd like to have a party. That doesn't have to be this year. Like, the, what I'm looking for doesn't have to be this year, but... Like, that sounds like more like a, 20, like a 45th birthday party. Because I don't really want to spend too much money. I want to be able to see everybody. I'm starting to invite people, but basically, really, what it's going to come down to is who's who's worth inviting. You know what I mean? Um, but I do want to do this. I think it's nice. Um, I know my family would help me if I wanted them to, but I'm trying to do this independently on my own. I just want to be able to do this on my own. But I got to tell you this: if they're nine hundred dollars, then that means a hotel is going to be probably a lot more money. A lot more money. So, I don't know. I mean, there are other venue places. So, guys, help me out here. Tell me any other venue places that you guys know of. I've never hosted a party before. I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I just know how to do decorations. That's all I know. It's all I know is decorations. That's it. And I barely know that. I'm learning how to do that shit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, help me out here. What do I do? Like... 900, I'm not doing 900. I, I'm, I'm trying to, like, you know... Parties are expensive, guys. Fuck it. It's no wonder I've never had a party before. Pfft. It's expensive doing it that over here. But, I mean... If I made it smaller and just said forget the, the you know, the... Um, 
you know, the music, like the actual DJ, so be it. But we're going to see what works out. They need a four month, uh, four months notice. But you have to buy their alcohol there. You have to, you have to drink their alcohol. You can't, you know, you can't bring alcohol. You're not going to make any money on the alcohol. So, you know what I mean? So, but that one is 900. That doesn't mean like maybe ones down the street might be 500. You know what I'm saying? So let's just see and look around. Like just because that VFW is expensive doesn't mean every VFW. And I'm going to talk to Chris about it because I bet he's going to say the same thing. I bet just because one place is, is expensive doesn't mean another place will be. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, I seriously can't take this shit anymore, all right? If you can't fucking speak English, stay the fuck out of my fucking life, all right? I was going to buy Chris a fucking uh, coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, right? And, of course, Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> why would they speak English, right? Not like they do customer service or anything. I said, oh, that pancake thing. Is it small or large? You know, is it big or small? Oh, it's good. Like, you're getting ready to fucking just put in my order. Like, what the fuck? I didn't say I want it. I said, I would like, I'm asking you a question about it. Fuck her. So now there's this little dining place. I'm going to go turn around and get in there. Come on, people. Get the fuck out of my way. Now I'm pissed. Because fucking people don't know how to speak English in this fucking country anymore. I'm fucking tired of it. Get the fuck out of my country if you don't know how to speak English. Ugh. No, seriously, people. I'm tired of this. I don't even know if this place is open, but I'm going to try it. See if it is. It says Denim's Diner. So, I'll get him a fucking breakfast before I fucking buy fucking Dunkin' Donuts bullshit. I'm so pissed, guys, all right? Speak the fuck English, all right? I barely can speak English. That's why I get so angry. I can't understand if, if you're speaking a different language and don't look at me like you're a fucking moron. Don't understand the fucking words that are coming out of my mouth. That's pissing me off, guys. And if it pisses you off, it pisses me off, all right? I don't mind that other people have a different language. That's fine. So do I. I don't. But yes, I do. You know, I don't mind if you're speaking another language. Just keep it in your fucking house. I don't want to hear it on the street. I don't want to hear your fucking stupid ass fucking music that's in a different language. And I don't want you in my fucking life when I'm trying to go shopping and I can't even ask a goddamn question about a product. Fuck this. I'm not even shopping at the fucking stores anymore. I'll just buy online. Fuck it. I, I can't even do this anymore. Seriously, this fucking country has gone to shit and I don't fucking care about it. I don't like it anymore, okay? I'm just going to stay to myself, do my own thing, and everybody can just stay the fuck away from me. If you don't speak English, stay the fuck away from me. Because you know what? One of these days, I'm going to get so fucking pissed, I'm going to punch you the fuck out because I'm so fucking mad. Like, I literally walked the fuck out of that fucking place and motherfucked them all the way out. I'm like, I can't believe it. If you can't fucking speak English, then, you know, I was like, fuck this. I can't even do this anymore. I'm not going to spend money at a Dunkin' Donuts if you can't hire people that speak English. And then everybody's wondering why these Amer us Americans are having such a hard time finding work. Well, it's because they're hiring people that will still they'll be able to sell, you know, get a little, you know, pay them for a little less money. But they're not going to speak English. So what's the point? And every time you go to Dunkin' Donuts or any place, your, your orders are always going to be wrong. Why? Because they didn't understand your English. Get what I'm trying to say? And then you wonder why your order's always wrong. Hmm. Maybe that's why. Anyways, let me see if this place is open. All right, guys. So really quickly, I just want you guys to know what happens five minutes ago stays in five minutes ago. That's how Jaden does his life now. So, yeah, I was upset five minutes ago, but that's over. I talked it out with Chris. We're good. I said, Chris, I'm not buying anything because I didn't tell him I even went to the diner, but the diner was closed. It closes at 1230. So the fuck have a diner for? For fucking that... But now that I know that that's over there, I want to take the two, two of us over there sometime. But um, I'm just grabbing my stuff and I'm going in. So I thought I'd tell you, I'm making breakfast myself. All right. Hey see guys. you guys. So I'm actually starting to take the Christmas tree down while he opens up some gifts. And yes, I know. I know it's the 27th. But dude, I don't have any time to waste. I got new projects already ready to go. And this is this is room we could be utilizing. And then we can get our TV the sooner this gets done. Right, Chris? Then we get a new TV. So, you like that? <laughs> I'll show you everything I got him at the end. Um, I'll show you in some clips at the end. Um, isn't that cool? Keep the intruders away. 
<laughs> Can I show them what this looks like? So he's playing with his new toy. So I guess it does a few different things. So, but I'll show you everything at the end. But yeah, so I'm getting rid of this stuff. All right, no more Christmas tree. All right, bye Christmas tree. We'll see you next year. Love you. Bye. All right, guys. I'll see you guys. Nice. In a little bit. So it took me what three days to freaking get in. Unwrap is no, actually, it's kind of like four days because I tried it like the day before Christmas just to get it out of the way, but he wasn't having it. And I'm trying not to run over my neighbor who's 95 years old who likes to walk. Going slow, very slow for you. Don't you worry, sweetie. I ain't gonna run your ass over. <laughs> She can be mean when she wants to be. She gives you that nasty look like, I'm 95 years old, I'll kick your ass. <laughs> like, you know? I spit on you and everything. Like, that's what I mean. Like, there are some mean fucking old people that just like, I've been around the block, I know everything, you can't tell me nothing I don't know, and I'll fucking kick your ass if you fucking try to give me any shit. I don't want to take it on him. Oh, I've been there, seen it, done it, you know? It's, it's like, oh my God. And the older people get, the less they, the less patience I see, see people seem to have, you know. But anyways, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so it took me like three, four days to get him to open up his gifts. So basically, I secretly just like, you know what, I'm like, all right, I'm just saying, you know, I'm taking down the tree. <laughs> all right, whether you have the gifts done or not, as if the tree's coming done though. <laughs> so then he's like, no, right. and then you know, I got him to. Open a gift, and they wanted to help take the tree down. I says, I, I, because basically I said to him, I'm like, dude, I like, I don't care if you open the presents or you don't open the presents. Today, I want to bring the, I want the tree to go back to storage, or at least to, you know, get it out of the house. So, uh, I was just like, you know what? I like my Christmas before Christmas, but the day after Christmas, forget it. I'm done. Like sometimes, like maybe if I had a partner. It would be till like New Year's, but no. I mean, people don't realize. I see, I guess, diff uh, Christmas differently than you guys, or the holidays differently than you guys, because I don't look at it as Santa coming. I don't look at it as these religious holidays. I can't because I don't understand religion. So it's beside the point. And don't even try and explain it to me because I don't understand it. Um, I don't even understand the English. So I'm not going to understand religion. All I know is be, be nice and treat yourself, you know, behave. <laughs> That's all it is, behave. But, um, no, but for me, I mean, I look at this time of year to reflect on the, on the, on the last year that, you know, in 2022, think of all the things you've done, think of all the things you didn't get to do, or think of all the things you did get to do, and, and how can you make the next year better, and, I'm really like, you know, I always just, I've been doing this since I was a kid. I mean, I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm thankful, you know, all the things you're thankful for and you're taking the time to be thankful of the things and, you know, um, making goals for the next year and to taking time off and spending some time with family and friends or whoever you want to spend your time with that you love. Doesn't, see, people don't realize it doesn't have to be your blood, your blood family. It doesn't have to be... You know, if you've gotten divorced and your or your kids are older, you got to throughout your life make new 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 family, new friends, new everything. Things change. It's okay. See, the thing that I like about the holidays is that it happens every year. So whatever you fucked up on the year before, you just fix it the next year. And if you fix, you know, if that screwed up, it's like you always have a do-over. It's like a free, it's like a freebie. You always get to do it over. So if this year was sucky, ah, we'll try again next year. Up oh, that year sucky, ah, oh, we'll try again this year. You know, so... And always to get, like, for me, I would always want to make my Christmas better than the year before. You know what I'm saying? So, I'd like to be fucking surprised for once in my life, but I can't, you know, count on others, I guess. I mean, people don't really even know me. I mean, if you knew me, you'd at least know what to get from me. People don't even know me. Like, me, I could see people, like... 
I guess because I don't have good communication skills with people, I actually pay attention more to detail. So I pay attention to what you like. I pay attention to what you wear. I pay attention to these things, you know? I pay attention to your sizes, even if I have to go and do your laundry <laughs> to find out what the size is, <laughs> you know? Um, anything, really. So, um, but I'm 99.9% .9 spot on to what you like. I mean, ask Chris, ask Angel, ask my mother. <laughs> no one has ever gotten a bad gift from Jaden. Jaden doesn't believe in bad gifts. Holy crap, what the fuck? It's a red light. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, oh, like this. Hold on, people. I do that when there's somebody else in the car, but no one else is in the car, but I'm talking to you, so I was holding, holding on to you guys. I made a choice to just stop. I technically could have kept going, but all right, guys, so I'm sure this video is going to be like way very long. Now, I'm not sure how much I can show you of his stuff. Because he likes to, like, just take his stuff and, like, throw it everywhere. So, I could go through what I got for him if I'm not able to show you everything I got for him. So, um, but I'll do that later on because I want to see what I can show you and what I can't show you. Some stuff's already... That's what I'm saying. That, 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 that one doesn't normally... Well, maybe it does. I don't remember. I'm coming in here at night. I mean more in the evening now right now and I'm surprised that there's no traffic actually <laughs> it's like 3 4 50 what am, I, what am I doing over here in there why isn't there any traffic oh yeah holiday week oh yeah congratulations guys I'm giving you guys some extra videos for your holiday I mean for your Christmas week your week or whatever give you something to do alright hang out with me <laughs> so um yeah, I lost, like, what I wanted to do today. Like, so I woke up, and I'm like, ah, I want to go to Hobby Lobby. And then when I was at Hobby Lobby, I was like, oh, I want to go here and there and everywhere. And then I did all that, and I go, okay, it's only 12 o'clock. Now what do I do? <laughs> so I had to, like, find out other ways, other things to do today. Ooh, look at that. I get to go right in. Yay. Ah. Uh, let me guess. Did they fucking break it? Did somebody break it? Or maybe they kept it open during the holidays just in case. Or is the fucking thing, like, dead? I don't know. Anyways. I'm at storage. Let me go do my thing here. My goodness. And then I'm going to have to wrap up the video because when I go home... <laughs> but the thing is, I don't need to see the tree down. Like, all that stuff, so... I haven't decided yet, but either way, you know I always wrap up these videos... Oh my god, I'm so stressed out right now. I don't want to go upstairs and see everything. I gotta get a box. I gotta put this box in. I gotta get another box. <laughs> so here's the thing, okay? I was telling Chris, I was like, oh, I don't want to do this. And then I told Chris, he said, listen. And he said, whether I want to do this or not, I don't allow Jaden to do whatever the fuck he wants. And if he, you know, I, even if he doesn't want to do something, I'll make, I'll make myself do it. Because at the end, it's done, and then you're proud of yourself for how much you got done that day. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I get tired. Now, yesterday would have been dangerous for me to drive, but today is fine. Um, I am a little bit more, like, I guess yesterday's, like, sleep I really needed or something. But every once in a while, I guess I need it, and I'm not going to freak myself out. If I need to take a nap and pass out at 5 and sleep for the night, then so be it, I guess. <laughs> but I'm up at the crack of dawn. I'm not sleeping very good at night, so if I need to take a nap, she didn't just take a nap. Because <laughs> it doesn't end up leading to a nap. It, leaves that, it ends up leading to, like, well, I, it's like I take cap naps now. That's really what it is. Like an hour, hour and a half, wakes up, does his thing, goes through some more weed, and then goes, you know, whatever, and then passes back out. And when he passes back out, uh, sleeps for another couple hours or hour or two, and then fucking wakes up and got to do it again. And I'm like, what the hell? Leave me alone. Stop. All right. I'm going to do this because I don't want to. So I'm going to go do it because it's got to get done. You help me? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. All right, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, guys, I guess I can't do it because no one knows how to fucking do their job. So, they're out of, like, they don't have electricity. All right? Last year, the other place I went to had no power, and I couldn't get into my facility on Christmas Day. This is the 27th, and 
I can't get into my storage. Like, that's bullshit. So, I'm going to have it out with the company. Because this is a different company now. And I'll go somewhere else if I have to. This is ridiculous. I'm not paying $182 for nothing. Uh, I mean, I'll fucking get rid of the shit before I fucking pay that. And not be able to be accommodated to the way I need to be. So, I don't know what the fuck to do. Right now, I'm going to go over to um, Five Below real quick. Because, uh... Annette was so nice, and I thank you very much, Annette, but Annette was very nice, and she she gave me a gift card so I could go get something, so I figured maybe I should go do that now while I'm very close to one, and then that way I could show her a little video of, um, of um, what I got from, from, you know, what she got from me, so that's what's going to happen right now, but I am going to have it out with this company because I'm not going to get screwed again. The other company tried screwing me. This company, I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, I, even if it's a $20 or $25 off, something, like, give me a compensation. You know, you're holding on to my stuff that's basically kidnapping when you think about it. If I can't get into my shit, technically they're kidnapping my stuff. So you have my stuff right now hostage. <laughs> like, what the fuck's going on, dude? I'm going to talk to my guy, Tom, the guy that um, I work for. Because he was telling me that he wanted to fucking do something like this. And I'm going to tell him, dude, one, I want to help you build one. And two, I want to I wanna store my shit at your place. But, um, Chris was telling me something, but I wouldn't want my stuff there. It's just too far away. That's really what it came down to. Or else it would have been perfect. But it'd be nice to have, like, some kind of, like, shed somewhere at someone's house that I could pay less money and give you a hundred bucks and store my shit there. But then again, you just fear that, you know, things can get kidnapped. I mean, kidnapped. Things can get stolen or, you know, things get ruined because of the weather or whatever. But still, this is getting ridiculous. But I'm just going to deal with it for now. But I am going to have it out with the company. But I didn't really feel like doing it, as you saw, so why would I be angry? <laughs> why would I be angry? I'm not angry about nothing anymore. Don't get angry at nothing. I mean, you saw me angry earlier, but that's like a five-second anger. Jaden, that's, that, that's Jaden angry. <laughs> what the hell? It's more frustration than anger. It's like, ugh, I don't know why you're doing this to me. Why you torture me, you people? you so dumb. People are dumb. Don't tell me you don't think people are dumb, because I do. Ugh. Why wasn't anybody happy for the holidays this year? Like, I didn't even feel like the holidays. Nobody put fucking Christmas lights up on their on their house. There's just nothing. I, I mean, that was really what it really was depressing. I didn't see barely any Christmas lights at all, and... I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's where I live or something. But it's just the season just did not feel right today, this this year. I mean, maybe it was like the first, maybe it's the first like uh, Christmas and holidays that everybody was spending together since COVID maybe. I mean, maybe that had something to do with it. I don't know. But between that and the, and the financial burden, I mean, guys, come on. If you guys can't make, you know, do something for the holidays for somebody. Just make something. Make a cake. Make cupcakes in here. Everybody gets a cupcake. How fucking hard is that? Come on. It's not about who can give you the best gift. It's who's thinking about you. That's really what it comes down to. You know, make a cupcake with that. I'm thinking about you. You know, I mean, I would rather get a cupcake than get a fucking $1 scratch ticket. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. Get creative. I mean, there's ways where you can make, like, ingredients for, like, a hot chocolate or something. I don't know. My mom used to try to do those things. And it was, like, in another little jar. And then it was, like, a bunch of mixtures or whatever. And then she'd just give them, you know, here's one for you, one for you, one for you. So sometimes being, like, creative and is better, you know, people enjoy it better than, you know, um, me, not so much. You know, for me, I'm so picky that even the desserts, I you have to be careful with with me, and and I can't have any nuts. Like, and I'm not, not that I don't like nuts. I just can't eat nuts. I don't know. 
tea nuts with towel. Stop giving me people with nuts. Even though I really like nuts, but I can't have nuts, so whatever. And stop it. Stop being inappropriate, people. Yes. <laughs> Nutheads. I was thinking about nuts. Wow. It's Jaden looking at fucking houses. He likes houses. He gets excited. <laughs> How's my driving, is it? 1-800-EAT-SHIT. <laughs> That's what Dennis used to say. He's like, how's my driving? One and call 1-800-EAT-SHIT. <laughs> Mine's 1-800-FUCK-OFF. <laughs> I don't know if you guys even like... Do you guys like when you take drives with me? Is it aggravating? Is the noise density like... Do I talk too much? I don't know. You guys always say you miss me, so I'm trying to give you a lot of me, and sometimes a lot of me can be too much. <laughs> so, but anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'm going into Five Below. I am not going to bring you in with me, because what, you know why? They don't use their kind of, it's aggravating, and I don't know, they just, I don't know. And this one, there's one lady here that's kind of like a bitch, <laughs> so I don't know if she's going to be there. And I yelled, I didn't yell, but I, when I went there just the other day, I told the guy, I'm like, dude, I'm like, there is a one person here, and if you don't, I said, listen, I'm a professional shopper. I've never dropped, you know, ruined a display before. I'm a, I'm a professional shopper, I said. I said, if you're not putting the displays up right, don't yell at me, because they fell. Get what I mean? And he's like, oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I said, she was mean about it and blah, blah, blah. I said, yeah, I took a picture because it was, it was like, ridiculous. And then she's giving me shit for picking it up. And I'm like, yeah, I did pick it up. But she didn't have to be a bitch about it. So what I did was I fucking put everything back that I was going to buy and put it back. And told her, fuck off, basically. So And I told this guy, he's like, yeah. Guys, I'd rather get her fired than anything else. <laughs> Jane could be pretty mean. Hey, you wanna fuck with me? You wanna fuck my shopping? I'll fuck with you. I'll fuck with your job. <laughs> Don't fuck with my shopping. <laughs> Don't fuck with my shopping. Why am I here, Jaden? Jaden, why are you here? Why do you wanna be here? I don't wanna be here. You always wanna be here. Oh, you know what? Uh, did I? No, didn't I? No, I did. <laughs> See? I was having a conversation with myself, and you guys were probably like freaking out. Like, what the fuck is he talking about? I was like, did I look at. So I just had a conversation with myself, and I explained what I just said. <laughs> yeah, that was funny, and you caught me. Um, and that's what I was talking about earlier. I was just saying to myself, didn't you... Oh, you didn't go to Michael's to look for anchor stuff, did you? And then I go, ah, uh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, yes, I did. And I had to remember, like, what day, you know, I had to actually remind myself. I had to memorize oh, that. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus Christ, people. You know what I get nervous about today? See, I got a 16-year-old vehicle, okay? You guys all have, like, these fucking expensive-ass, stupid-ass cars that you don't need. But whatever. Teach their own. And, um, and then you're basically, you know, doing a mortgage and a car payment that's, like, a mortgage. I'm like, well, dude, you better off just, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But anyways, I was having a conversation with myself with Michaels, okay? I said, did you go over to Michaels and look for anchor stuff yet? I said, no, yes, maybe I didn't. And then I said, yes, I remembered I did. So sometimes I can be in the middle of listening to somebody or in the middle of having a conversation. And all of a sudden I stop and I book something out because I'm having a conversation with myself while you're talking to me. And I can't have too many conversations at once. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Hey guys, bit. so um, I told Chris, I go, Chris, I'm across the street from a from a, uh, a Burger King. So I bought Burger King for dinner. <laughs> I just bought a bunch of shit. I don't even care. I spent like 30 bucks. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that, but whatever. I didn't care. And now we have like, some food for the next couple of days. And we're going to go home and just like... Like, eat veg out, knead out, pig out, and stuff. I don't give a fuck anymore. You know what? That's my Christmas to my style. Let's have Burger King. I don't really even like Burger King that much, but I don't really care. Nah. Never even be able to get out. These people don't let you out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, people. Fucking assholes. They're ignorant motherfuckers that have no fucking common courtesy for anybody else today. 
And that's just the way it works today. But, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will see you guys back at the house. I I'll do the video at the house just be so you know that I made it home safely because everyone wants to make sure that I'm home safely. So, whatever. All right, I'll hey see guys, you so I am back home now. I have to still get these babies to bed. Time to go night night. Night night, baby boys and girls. It's time to go sleep, peace. <laughs> yeah, it's mommy and daddy. I mean, daddy and mommy and daddy. Who's mommy and daddy? I don't know. Not me. Ah, oh, jeez. You like my room? Like my bed? So all this stuff has to get, like, moved off. My fingers won't stop hurting me. So they're stupid. So I guess we're just gonna have to leave this out for now. So we're gonna stick that right over there for now for the night because I'll need one for the morning. So anyways, guys, yeah, we're just gonna clean this up real quick. This is trash. <laughs> and we're gonna put the babies back into their bucket and then go stay down there for the night until I figure out what to do with them. But in the meantime, cut. oh, you know why? Because I'm waiting for the stupid for the tree to be gone so then I can get to that thing so then that's where they'll be sleeping is in there but I can't get to it because everything's in my way so I have to wait until the you know but yes they will be out in the living room with <laughs> Chris <laughs> I don't know if Chris knows that but yep they'll be hanging out with him sleeping with him at night don't wake him up don't keep him up at night he's gonna say Jackson kept me up all night or Jalen kept me up all night I don't wanna hear it any more bitching <laughs> you kids don't wake him up. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is all. I hope you guys like this video today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like down below. Like, go ahead. Like. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you guys back here the next time. Have a good night, guys. Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow.